Hi, hello and welcome to a new video. I had this idea to do a small series on this channel. Uh, the thing is, I, like a lot of other people, struggle with social anxiety. For me, it's, uh, it's uh, affected a lot of my daily life and I noticed it's gotten worse uh, over the pandemic. And I've struggled a lot with social anxiety my teenage years. Uh, I'm now 20 and I hoped that I would be done with this trip, but here we are. In the first um, episode, in the first video of this shit, I thought I would go to the store because I need more tobacco. That's healthy, but um, I'm really nervous about it. Um, I've decided that if I want to get rid of this anxiety or make it better, I would have to go out in the world and do shit myself to uh, lower the anxiety. I guess it's called exposure therapy. I worked in Greenpeace as a fundraiser last year and that was really great for my anxiety. I almost managed to overcome it and then quarantine part two three hit in the start of this year and shit went to hell so i'm now getting ready to go to the store i'm nervous let's put on some perfume so they can't smell my anxiety oh oh that's a lot ah. Ah. okay let's get some paper ah. I'm so quirky, I have anxiety. I have social anxiety, I was diagnosed with it uh, back in my day. I'm actually so fucking nervous. Um, damn. Where the fuck are my sunglasses? Ah! Are you in my backpack? No. Where the hell? Okay, so I found some sunglasses. These ain't mine, but I guess they work. I'm just taking my skull necklace home. Maybe they will think I'm like this 40 year old trucker dude. <laughs> well, if I keep chain smoking the way I do, I will look like one very soon. <laughs> Finally, I'm ready. I got my keys. No, wait. Oh, there they are. Let's go. Ooh. We're on our way. This is not very good lighting. Hmm. I came to remember our seagulls nesting. Whoa. Over there. Damn. That will be fun. Oh, I survived. Ooh, the thing is when um when I'm at the store, it's all good and I'm like, but it's the thing leading up to that, that is the scariest. Managing to go out in the world and go to the store. That's the hard part. I may have pissed off some seagulls, but so now we got, I went to the store and I survived and I know that I uh, will survive going to the store. I guess this is for everyone that suffers with social anxiety that you know it's irrational but it's still there and it's still so fucking terrible to live with every day. The next step would be to go for a walk either if it's out in the woods, out in the street or to the mountain because that's also a thing that anxiety has fucked up for me. I have to find a lot of motivation to even be able to do the stuff I loved. I still love to do. <laughs> so yeah. If you have social anxiety, click the thumbs up. No, if you want to see the rest of this series, I don't know if I should continue this or if it, this is just me being an awkward fucking mess. Yeah, I hope you have a nice day and um, yeah, be kind to other people and you can do this. If I can, you sure can.